So I'm not going to be an armchair political analyst on the second question. We'll see what, uh, what the other candidates in the race decide to do. We'll respect their decisions. And so we'll let that play out without stepping on their toes. When it comes to battleground states as it does to the rest of the country, there are two issues that matter to folks. Hands down, take any survey, you can talk to your neighbors, it's the same consistent answer. Growing the economy and fixing the border crisis, period. Those two issues ought to decide this election. I believe they will. Now the question is, what level of vision has each policy, has each party actually provided? Donald Trump's going to be clear vision. Try to grow the economy. Drill, frack, extract every form of American energy to bring costs down and grow our economy. He's gone straight down the list, extending the Trump tax cuts. That's given you a clear vision for how to make sure that we're competing on fair terms with other countries. Kamala Harris did not offer an economic policy until earlier this week when she came out with her Nobel Prize winning suggestion of regulating price, regulating the grocery industry with price caps to prevent price gouging by giving the FTC authority to somehow go after vaguely defined price competition. Well, you can compare those two economic visions and say which one's going to be better at actually delivering prosperity for Americans. So those are the two issues that, that will and should decide this election. We've offered our position on what we think needs to be done by each of those. Seal the southern border, grow the economy, with clear policy proposals for how to do both. Kamala Harris, it's up to her, calls in her court to see if she actually has an alternative vision or not. Today, uh, ben Burkham, real uh, do you want to 